right now. All right, guys. All right, guys. All right. All right. So. All right. All right, guys. Yep. All right. All right, guys. All right. All right. So. Okay, boys. You got something to say, Forty? Yeah. Hi. What's going on, YouTubers? What's going on, Gunners? Man, we're back with another lightweight reduction video. Um, I'm excited because we're putting on the K-Tune hinges today and I'm going to show you where the hole saw cut where the door jam is and how to properly install these guys. Big thank you to K-Tune, big thank you to Sean, John, uh, my boy Pajama built up there in Canada. Got, got a lot of support in Canada, great set of people up there, great supporters, um, great gunners, all that man. They're, they're all great people but today uh, we're installing the uh, K-Tune quick release door hinges and I'm going to lighten up the car even more and I'll show you where else I cut into the vehicle. As far as the inside goes, we're done. We're, we're, we're done after today. Uh, hopefully I can get this car on a lift and show you what to do on the bottom of the car because there's actually some more weight that we can cut off there. So uh, yeah, sit back, enjoy the vlog and uh, apply these methods safely. Alright guys, so how to install the K-Tuned quick release door hinges, right? They come directional on the box. It'll tell you which way is passenger, which way is driver, and which way they go up and down, which one's the bottom, which one's the top. So this is our top one, because we match it up with this right here, just like that, and we know that that goes on top. So very easy, very simple. We just remove the 412s. We got two that go to the door. Take that off that 12 there come on and we have these two boom that's out of the way these door these uh quick release hinges make life so much easier it's not even funny like loading cars in and out Stuff like that. Hold on, is this backwards? No, it's not. So the first initial thing that we do is just thread everything by hand. We'll move on to right here. Grab our 12 with the extension. Thread that in right there. Thread this guy in here on the bottom. And sometimes you could just move the door to align it more, but I'd like to have it more synced inside. That's there. That's how we have it. So we leave the hinges on, we leave it locked over there on the side, and we bolt it up. So now we'll move on to the bottom one and we'll swap it out and show you how much, you know, how much life will be easier when you're loading this car up or you need to take the doors off. Just makes life all around easy. Alright, I got my extension on. Alright, just crack them there. 412 millimeters. Snap on guns suck. Milwaukee, sponsor me. Let's go. All right, zap this guy off. Zap this guy off. zip tie to just keep everything together. Snip that off. You can actually just keep it together and then line it up. 
So we'll thread in our four twelves, nice and easy. So we don't want to rely on the gun to thread it in. I'm just tying it up. And that's it, they're installed. Now let's just set the camera back and show you how easy it is to open and close this door. All right, so we're just getting onto the trailer or um, we're getting somewhere in a tight spot and we can't open the door, passenger or driver side. So the hinges are just made to make your life much easier. If you have a roll cage, it's hard for you to get out, remove the door. How easy is it to do it? Just open it, pull up and that's it. Door off. Nice and safe. They've redesigned it. This is actually their version two. They had a couple of faulty things in the version one. And what did they do? They replaced everyone's doors that were blown off. So they did the right thing. They corrected their mistake. And now this newer version is much, much better. So we'll just put it right back on. Let's see how easy it is on camera. Line it up. Done. Door is on. We can uh, remove. We can move this hinge up a little bit because it's sunk in a little bit more. But that's just basically body stuff. K-tuned hinge, man. If you're into racing, we saved weight. We saved a bunch of weight, trust me, just by removing these heavy ass hinges. So, K-tuned hinges for the door. I have them on my race car on the AK-47, and I have the uh, the hood ones also. We'll get them for this car because every bit of weight is going to count. Is going to count. I'm sorry. Um, now we'll move on, and I'll show you how to hole saw inside the door jam so you could save a little bit more weight. Thank you, K-tune. Okay, so I have my Milwaukee drill. I have a two inch hole saw blade. Oh, no wonder. Now now somebody, now there's a cat in the tree. When I'm recording, there's a cat in the tree. Let's hear it, jerk. Two inch hole saw. I got some lubricant spray, measuring tape, and a marker. Show you guys where to start how to properly do it nice and easy is the way we're gonna take this uh, step right here but is it worth it absolutely like I told you everything counts okay so my starting point is going to be right before this edge starts because it's going to be hard to hole saw on an angle we want it to just hole saw on the flat part so we'll make this our initial cut and then we'll measure from this first cut okay Nice and easy on the gun. It's on setting one. Very, very slow. Right here is about right. And when you mark it, you don't want to cut into this body line right here. You want to be just before it.
Now once we start this cut, that's when we spray and lubricate. That's it. It'll just keep the blade sharp and you'll get to save it a bit. And we don't push, the blade does all the entire job. one this side has like a double you know it's like double welded onto this side so that this is the most difficult cut now that's out now that, that that's out the way we'll measure from this point down so from this mark here we're just gonna go two inches so every two inches after the cut right here can I help you out a little bit more in angle there it is okay so we got two inches and we're gonna do our best to center it. So we measure two inches, there it is, right? We line this guy up at two inches and then we'll just move over enough not to go into this part. We're going just before it. Right there should be perfect. Nice and easy. All right, so moving right along, same concept, two inches. A little bit of drizzle out here, but who says water's bad for you, right? 